In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to avoid a Shopify shipping label. Managing e-commerce orders can sometimes be complex, especially when dealing with cancellations or changes. If you've ever found yourself needing to avoid a shipping label you created in Shopify, this guide is going to walk you through the process step by step, ensuring that you can tackle this task confidently and efficiently. Let's start at the very beginning. The first thing you'll need to do is navigate to the Shopify website. Here you'll see a login option. Clicking on this will begin the process of getting you into your Shopify dashboard, the control center where all the magic happens. After clicking on login, Shopify will ask you to enter your credentials. If you're already logged in on your device, it may simply prompt you to choose an account or automatically log you in. This process is straightforward. Just follow the on-screen instructions until you find yourself on the Shopify homepage, specifically under My Store. Once you're fully logged in, head over to the left sidebar where you will find the Orders section. Click on this to proceed. In the Orders pane, you have a few options, but what we are looking for today is the Drafts section. Draft orders in Shopify are orders that haven't been fully processed or completed, and it's where you'll likely find the order related to the shipping label you want to avoid. Navigate your way to the Drafts section and click on it. Here you'll see a list of all your draft orders. Browse through this list to select the order that's linked to the shipping label you wish to void. Take your time to ensure you select the correct order as voiding a label cannot be undone. Once you have the right order, you'll notice three dots on the side or possibly at the bottom, depending on your browser or device. Clicking these dots will bring up a few options. Now here's where we take action. Among the options that appear, look for delete draft orders. Clicking this will prompt Shopify to confirm your action. It's always good to have these checks to prevent any accidental deletions. Confirm your intention by selecting delete or yes on the pop-up that follows. And there you have it. By confirming the deletion, you've effectively voided the shipping label associated with that order. It's important to note that voiding a shipping label may have implications depending on the timing and the shipping carrier used. Most carriers allow voiding a label within a certain period after creation, often before it's been scanned or entered their system for processing. Shopify in most cases will credit your account for the cost of the label once it's successfully voided, but this might take some time to reflect. Here are a few additional tips to keep in mind. Always double check the order and shipping label you're about to void. Making sure you're working on the correct label saves you from potential headaches. Remember, timing is crucial. If too much time has passed since the label's creation, you might not be able to void it directly from Shopify. In such cases, contacting the carrier directly might be your best bet. Keep an eye on your billing with Shopify and the carrier to ensure you receive the refund for the voided label if applicable. Voiding a shipping label in Shopify is a straightforward process, but it demands careful attention to detail. Whether you're dealing with a cancelled order, an incorrect shipping address or any other issue that necessitates this action, following these steps will help you manage your e-commerce operations more effectively. Thank you for tuning into today's tutorial. Managing your Shopify store just got a bit easier and we're here to help you every step of the way. For more helpful tips and guides, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.